Now let's talk water plumbing. <laughs> uh, I'll link at the end card here my uh, sewage part of the plumbing. Uh, it was a separate video, but I will get into water connections and the things that you really need to bring or hunt down in the Philippines because they do exist. Okay guys, let's start at the street side of all of this when it comes to water. Now, in our case, I'll turn you around. I don't know if you can get an idea of that, that stop sign is there. Our water line is, oh, three times that. There, back, and there, back, and there, back. Probably about that long. Anyway, uh, fortunately, the guys had a full brand new roll and we went with a thicker wall. Um, regret it. <laughs> Uh, there are guys that go along the highway side and they use their weed eaters or they will down there with their knives, uh, sickles or whatever, and cut them up and you will get nicks in your water line. We've got two on street side now, one on our property and very frustrating. I wish I'd have gone PPR. However, you got to make sure what side of the tree you go on. Uh, in our flex water line, the lady was okay with it um, because when we got nicked, we actually took care of her water line and buried it for part of it. So, and we put it inside a pipe. If you're going under a driveway, put the pipe in, make them push it through and Bob's your uncle. The reason we also went with the flex piping is it is flex. And so when it comes onto the property, you don't have to put in a 90, uh, which again, will maybe reduce your water pressure because the water pressure goes like this there. <laughs> it's all over the place. Uh, I don't think they have any pressurizing pumps along the way. It's just pure gravity feed. Um, and as we noted from Angeles, the water pressure was so light that some of the second and third story co uh, townhouses and condos in the Philippines don't have any water, none at all. So let's get down to the fittings of the PPR. Again, it's a weld system. So I don't mind it. It is extremely toxic. Lynn got too close to one of them and it gave her a headache. I'm not sure if she wanted to see how it was working or if she was just in there kind of talking to the crew. Anyway, very toxic stuff. But when it comes to the end, you're going to find a nice fitting there that for coming through the wall that's already built as a 90 or a through and it's stainless. Great. But the um, male threaded nipples or you know one inch two inch three inch uh, extensions that you might need to use for whatever application you're doing they're not milled very well there guys didn't run into a single one that was milled properly i will state right off the bat that the teflon tape is way too thin it's it's at least half the thickness of the stuff that we shipped from canada i wish i'd have shipped more gas tape i have the yellow gas uh threaded tape and um, I wish I'd have sent more of that because again, it is thicker and uh, it saved our, well, our primary locations where water, like in the kitchen where water could flow out onto the floor or whatever because of a leak. If it leaks in the bathroom, it just goes down the drain, right? So uh, anyway, we used the, tef the yellow Teflon there and we've had zero issues. Um, so be aware of that. I do not like any of the other type of methods that they've got in the Philippines. They just seem to do nothing but leak, leak, and leak. Um, yeah, it's just not cool. Um, you can buy these T's that are, you know, flex pipe in, flex pipe out, and adapt to another, say, a rigid pipe and stuff. So they do have good selection on that. Over time, they just leak, guys. Um, it's... Yeah, they just don't seat all that well. I'm not sure if it's because fluctuation on water pressure or, or what is it? I have no idea. Um, anyway, I do like the PPR pipe. Now, if you want to be courageous, you can get PEX pipe in, in the Philippines. Uh, I would strongly suggest you message him if you're going to order it because uh, I could not find any of the connectors or any of the tools there at all. So you're going to have to contact somebody regarding that. Uh, or I know you can get the pipe online. And so, you know, just take your tool from your Western country and take all of the crimp pieces and the adapters and all that stuff. It's not going to be a large volume uh, and just ship it easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I will include the end card for our sewage plumbing 
and my solution to methane uh, that worked spot on for the garage. The guy wasn't listening to me and he didn't do it in the Philippines. Uh, why did I say Philippines? He didn't do it on the house. <laughs> uh, but I think it is a good solution for your methane gases to resolve that problem. Okay guys, that's it for today. Later Gators.